Hey, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster, and today I want to show you around our latest Baja truck camper build. Before we step inside, I'll talk about some of the exterior highlights of this vehicle. So starting with the shell, we have a custom composite shell with an articulating topper, and that's going to be paint match to match the um, vehicle that this camper is built on. So this is going to be an F350 Lariat. Uh, additionally, over here we have our 60 inch wide door to get into the camper. Uh, next iteration, once this client picks up and takes it for a little while, is that it'll have an AMP Research retractable step to help you get inside. Um, moving back from there, we have our custom Ross Monster Max Tracks table mounting system. You'll also notice that on this camper we have seven half slide windows. Those are going to be in the top perimeter of the shell. So when that top is all the way down, you're not going to be able to see those. And then on either side of the dinette, lower down on the rear, we have our two Arctic turn windows here. Let's check out the back. In the rear of the vehicle here, starting uh, on the left side, we have this custom ski storage locker. So you can pop this open. Uh, this shelf is completely removable. Vertically, you'll have storage for your skis, and then you have some additional storage capacity in the bottom here as it follows the wedge of the camper. Additionally, back here, we have our three custom molly panels, and those are fitted to mirror the angle of the vehicle itself. And then down low here, we have a custom Ross Monster rear bumper. That's gonna have storage on both sides, so you can unlatch these little guys here open them up and have some storage um, for additional gear that you don't want to bring inside the camper. Lastly, back here, we have a custom shelf for an ammo can. This is going to be used as a groover for this client while they're out on the road. Lastly, on the side of the vehicle here, we have our exterior shower port. So this pops down. You can have a nice outdoor shower. And this shower is going to be serviced by our Aqua Hot Hydronic Heat and Hot Water System inside the vehicle. So you can have a nice hot water shower outside. As we step inside the vehicle, a few things to notice here. First of all, we have a custom teak insert here, so um, mud and grime is going to get captured on this step before you make your way all the way into the vehicle. Additionally, we have an onboard air compressor here, so this air compressor is going to have ports at the front and the rear of the vehicle so that you can air up and down your tires as well as toys while you're out on the road. A last nice custom feature of this build is that we do have a custom built bug screen for this door so you can just roll that down and have everything nice and separate from the bugs outside. Welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this vehicle I'll talk about some design highlights as well as the layout of this rig. So starting on the ceiling we have Duramax upholstered ceiling panels and wall panels and that's going to be in the dark gray color. Moving down from there, all of our uppers and lowers are going to be maple slab door cabinetry. All of our countertops are going to be paper stone, and that's going to be in the slate color. Moving down from there, our whole dinette is going to be upholstered in the auto soft black leather, so that'll be nice and easy to clean. And then lastly, all of our flooring is going to be Montrose oak. When it comes to layout, we have our cab over bed all the way in the front of the vehicle. Moving back from there, we have our galley area. And then all the way in the rear, we have this dinette. And this is also going to convert into a secondary bed. So the nice thing about our Baja Design truck campers is that we can do a custom build, which is what this one is. And then we also have our set layout, um, which I'm sure you've seen a few of those before on our YouTube channel. Starting in the front of the vehicle, we have our cab over bed. So this is roughly a queen size bed. We'll throw probably a six inch mattress on here. Um, a few custom features back here. We have our Ross Monster custom ladder to get into the bed. We also have um, our pass through. So that's gonna allow you to go between the cab of the vehicle and the living area back here. So this is just has two zippers, can just be rolled up and put out of the way here. The other really nice thing about this pass-through is that um, it really eliminates sound as you're going down the road, so you're not going to hear any of your belongings clanking around in this area of the vehicle. Lastly, we have the two cubbies. They're covered with um, fabric back there, but that allows a little bit of additional storage in the bulkhead of the camper, so no wasted space in this rig. On the driver's side of the vehicle here, we have the beginning of our galley. So here we have a two burner and Pava induction cooktop. Again, we have those paper stone countertops and slate. 
The best thing about paper stone is A, that they're sustainable because they're made of recycled paper, but also um, you can put hot things directly on them. So especially when you're in a smaller space like this, that can be really helpful. This um, Baja is kitted out with a Cruise 200 isotherm fridge and freezer. So this is a nice option because your fridge and freezer are actually separate um, and you just have a lot of food storage capacity on board with you. Moving back from there, we just have a nice shelving unit. So these shelves are gonna be adjustable. So as they decide what kind of cooking gear they wanna take on the road with them, they can adjust that shelf height. And then underneath our Impava induction cooktop, we have a drawer bank. So additional storage for pots and pans there. All of that's gonna be on RV latches to ensure that everything stays where it's at while you're in transit. Above that, we have a, micro, a microwave in one of our uppers. All of our uppers are going to be on gas struts for assisted opening and closing and again have those RV latches beneath. Moving over to the passenger side, our galley is kind of extended over here. So we have a 15 by 20 Rivati workstation sink. We have the cutting board insert and the strainer as per usual. And then we also have a 20 inch flip up countertop extension so that you can kind of extend the workable space within your galley. Underneath our sink is where we're going to have our um, storage for our plumbing systems. So in there you can find a 30 gallon fresh water tank. We also have our pump in there. All the way in the rear of the vehicle we have our dinette. So as I mentioned this is going to be upholstered in auto soft black leather. So it'll be nice and easy to clean. Um, there will be backrests once those are finished. We also have a maple table on top of a lagoon swivel. So really nice area to eat with a few people but then when you're ready to sleep to additional passengers you can drop this table to this center area there use the backrest and make another sleeping area so i'm going to go ahead and take this table down and we'll show you some of the storage beneath this dinette so in this center bay here we have storage for our aqua hot um, so as i mentioned that's going to pull hot water to our sink and our outdoor shower as well as keeping the cabin area of this vehicle nice and warm. Over on the passenger side, we have our power systems. So this vehicle is equipped with 800 amp hours of lithium battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter. We have a 200 watt solar array up top. And then we have a Victron Energy um, smart battery management system. And then all the way over on the driver's side, we just have an open storage unit here. So that'll be a great place for him to pack away clothes and whatever gear he's taking on the road. When it comes to ventilation in this vehicle, as I mentioned, we have seven of these half slide windows around the perimeter of the camper. So you can get a lot of cross breeze no matter what direction you're parked. Additionally, in our dinette area, we have these two Arctic turn windows. The really nice thing about these is that you have a blackout cushion coming down from the top and a bug screen coming up from the bottom. Um, so you can be versatile in what you need in any given moment. Additionally, we have a 12 volt AC unit in this rig, so that'll keep this nice and cool in the summer months. We also have the Aqua Hot Hydronic Heat and Hot Water System to keep the cab of this vehicle hot, um, warm in the winter months and pull hot water to both our sink and our outdoor shower. Lastly, we have a max air fan in the front of the vehicle as well as the rear of the vehicle. So you can also utilize those because they can both pull air out of the vehicle or suck air in. So you can, again, really get a nice cross breeze going in this cab. When it comes to lighting, we have our control panel up here in the front of the galley um, for the various lighting zones that we have within this vehicle. So we have separate dimmable LED overhead dome lights for the cab over bed, as well as this main living area. We also have under cab lights and our toe kick lights. And then we have two additional reading lights in the cab over bed. Those both have USB ports, so that's a really nice place to charge your phone um, during the night. That wraps up this truck tour. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let's bring this down and hit the road.